Okay, so this is another moment of truth because one of the first things I thought of the last car was if they fix nothing else, it should be the back seat. And they've done exactly what I was hoping they'd do. They've made the cushion nicer. They've raised it a bit. They've changed the incline and the support of the backrest. So yeah, reasonable. Um, what they haven't done is remember that people actually have toes. And so I don't remember having this little toe room before. I'd have to check another one. Maybe with someone who jacks the seat up a bit, this wouldn't be a problem, but it's disappointing that they thought so much about the rear seat and they fixed so much about the rear seat, but they didn't, again, really resolve it uh, completely in the way I would hope. The other thing is um, the rear seat back still has kind of a B5, A4 kind of compactness, like it wants to thrust you forward, so I think that might seem objectionable to some people sitting for a while. It's kind of pushing my shoulders forward in a way I wasn't expecting. So again, it just doesn't feel like human factors is the strong point of this company as much as they try to talk about their UX. The user experience still leaves something to be desired and I guess maybe they just need more folks like me working on these problems. But much improved, absolutely. Um, just, I don't think it's recommendable just yet, but I hope to be able to in the near future, and there are other models to try and other models in the pipeline too.